Good evening, everybody. I'm Lorenzo Hall with uh, WUSA 9 from our studios here in Northwest Washington. We want to update you on the situation right now uh, unfolding in downtown Washington. A number of the protests taking place uh, for over George Floyd, uh, the man who was killed in Minneapolis earlier this week. What you're looking at right now is along 14th and 8th Street in D.C. This protest has been underway here for uh, roughly 45 minutes or so. The folks there uh, have moved away from the White House. We've been showing you some of what's been happening there all all day uh, and you can hear them. Let's listen to what they're chanting at the moment. Black Lives Matter. They've also been chanting hands up, don't shoot. Now what you're going to see in just a moment once our photographer starts to pan around uh, to the area where this crowd is facing, you have a group of officers. They've formed a human chain. They're just blocking these protesters from moving away from this area. Now, you're seeing a lot more police out on the streets right now in some of that riot gear trying to prevent what we saw yesterday. Also, D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser has ordered a citywide curfew, which goes into effect at 11 o'clock tonight. So in about three hours, the city will be under a curfew until 6 a.m. Monday. Earlier today, Mayor Bowser said she didn't see the need for a curfew because she figured the people who caused a lot of the chaos in the city last night wouldn't abide by a curfew anyway. But uh, as tensions started to escalate in D.C. throughout the night, uh, the mayor did feel a need to uh, order that curfew. Now, in addition to what we've been seeing there again on 14th and H, what we saw at the White House, uh, there's also been a protest at the Lincoln Memorial. Quite a different scene there. Our Delia Gonzalez, uh, she is there live for us right now. And Dee, what's been the mood there? Seemed relatively calm when we saw you earlier. All right, Dee, thank you so much. You stay safe. Thank you for this moment of Zen. We appreciate you. Uh, stand by as well. We'll check back in with you in just a couple of minutes. But now we want to go back to the scene over at the White House, our Charlotte McBride. Uh, she's been there for a good portion of the afternoon and evening as well. And uh, Charlotte, what's it like there? I have to look at people who look just like you and try to act like. Wow. OK, that's a moment there uh, with our Charlotte McBride. You can see there. Uh, a disrespectful moment. Uh, you talk about people who are out there preaching inclusion and um, justice for everyone, talking about everyone being human, but yet you have an exchange like that. Um, well, I'm processing that just like you are. And we saw D.C. Police Chief Peter Newsham. Uh, he sent out a tweet earlier today showing uh, him and I guess some of his officers as well out there interacting with the public this time around. Uh, because last night, at least 11 D.C. police officers were injured during those protests. Uh, one officer had to undergo surgery uh, after someone threw a, a brick at that officer. So an indication there of how tense it has been. Uh, we've seen businesses surrounding Lafayette Square in the business district in D.C. Uh, they've been boarding up uh, some of these businesses as well in anticipation of uh, another violent night like we saw last night. But at this point, it is not reached right. uh, that fever pitch. The temperature goes up and kind of goes back down uh, occasionally. But uh, unlike last night, these folks cannot stay out there until 2, 3 a.m. We want to go live now to Lafayette Square just outside of the White House. That is where our Nathan Baca has been situated for most of the evening. And Nathan, many, like, uh, I can see right there behind you, you have some people vandalizing a so statue. No and I, I can't help but think about what, you know, we heard from some of those uh, protesters with a, a clear cut message and their call for peace as well. A little earlier, they wanted that to be the focus. They wanted to keep the focus on George Floyd. Uh, and some of the others who have lost their lives while in police custody. Um, so to think about those people who woke up early this morning, spent their day marching um, peacefully through the streets of Washington, and then to have this be the focus right now, uh, just kind of erases all of the work they did um, to a certain degree. Because, yeah, you see the signs and now there. Protest agitators have started to throw the metal barricades into the flames itself. And then you have some of the barriers being thrown in there as well. People tossing items into this bonfire. 